Hi Pisces. Okay, we're going to do um, some cards for you um, for the month of December 2016. Alright, let's see what happens. We'll do a card for the first week, the second week, and the third week. Seven of Pentacles is the first week of December. So you're going to really be thinking about things um, for the first week of December. Thinking about the things that you have manifested. Okay. Um, especially over the year. I'm seeing that you are thinking about all the things that you have manifested and where you're at and where you would like to go. Okay. So um, a lot of things um, I'm feeling that um, you're feeling grateful um, for a lot of things um, in your life. Um, but you would like to move forward on some specific other things um, that are going on with you. Um, but you are feeling gratitude um, in general. And let's see what's going on for the second week. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles here. Um, so the Five of Pentacles is just kind of about worrying and... and um, and really just um, trying to get a feel for what things are going to be like in the future. Um, you could also be helping people in need um, with the Five of Pentacles. Um, you could be helping people who are less fortunate than you. Um, you could be just, you know, really um, uh, doing things of service um, and working in the community. Okay, so that's for the second week of December. Okay, let's see what happens for you for the third week of December. Okay, so we've got three of pentacles. So for the three of pentacles, that means that you're going to be planning something new and building something new, um, which is really exciting. Um, it's really a card about um, a lot of things going on at once. You're going to have a lot of help. There's going to be a lot of decisions to be made, but you're going to be ready to do that. Okay, so that's the third week of December. And I'm feeling that a lot has to do with your plans for um, um, January of, um, you know, 2017 and the year of 2017. All this stuff is really going to affect um, where, you are, where you're at with that. Okay, so we're going to go for the fourth week of December for you guys let's see it's gonna be okay so we've got the seven of swords so um, it looks like you know by the end of the month you're really going to feel like you need to get away um, and you're just going to have a lot on your mind and you're going to really need to take some time to kind of figure things out and maybe um, find the time to meditate and just um, change your mind, get a new perspective. Um, you're going to feel like you need to escape and um, that may not be the most healthiest perspective for you to um, navigate your things on. Um, I mean your life on so you might want to try to find different ways to um, Think about things or have a different outlet for your minds. Perhaps um, You need some support as far as what's going on in your mind and how you're thinking about things um, or you just need a break and you just really need to um, Escape, you know, you need to um, um, escape from your thoughts or escape from your environments okay um or the journey and and um and uh find something new or go on a quest or something like that okay so thank you very much i love you i love you oh i almost forgot i'm going to pick a archetype card for you guys mm, let's see what happens with that oh so one fell out oh two fell out for you guys so let's see what that is Okay, so we have one that is just a empty card, and the other card is the archetype of the prostitute. Okay, so let's see what that's about. 
light attributes accentuates the challenge of surviving without negotiating the power of your spirit. Shadow attribute places material consideration and security above self empowerment. Okay, so um, with this, I really think that in looking at all the cards together, that um, there's this old way of thinking that you've just really got to work through. Um, and I really feel like it's old paradigm stuff of you really feeling like you've got to work in a particular way or in a particular manner to get things done. And um, this is up for healing for you. So you really need to think about that more. What in your life, what patterns are stopping you from moving forward to get the things that you want? Okay, and um, you might want to try and find some support on that. Okay, so thank you so much. I love you. Um, please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Also, um, if you would like to have a reading and a session with me, and we can talk more deeply and one-on-one -on -one about the things that are going on with you, just look below and you can find information um, about how to connect with me. Thank you so much. I love you.